You know, <laughs> you said that you're fantastic at flirting. A recent article Ooh. on the medium decided to break down all the different ways people flirt. And they said that there are actually five different flirting styles people use to connect. Be playful, be a little physical, being polite, being sincere, or being traditional where you wait for the man to make the first move. So, ladies, I'm just curious. Because, see, all I got to do is put on this 1995 uh Queen Latifah outfit, and it's on and popping for me. My DMs oh, okay. will be after the show. Oh, my DMs gonna be good to know. with this outfit. Jay, pay attention. Watch out. <laughs> How would you ladies describe your flirting style? Oh gosh. <laughs> Mine is annoying. Remember when I used I'll play fight you. If I if I get physical and I like wanna play fight you or be mean to you. Then uh -huh. I probably like you. Oh, you're it's that very girl. immature. Yeah, like I literally will be like, oh my, like I'll, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> like I will try to play fight somebody. That, or if I try to have like deep conversations with you, I'm not the one to be having deep conversations. <laughs> it's just not my thing. But if I'm sitting with a dude having a deep convo, that's me flirting with you, in case you didn't know. Really? There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Jeannie? I think um, flirting is so fun. I, I love it. I, I learned it from, well, the funny thing is my mom, right? She's very flirtatious, but she's not really flirting to just try to get, like, sexually with somebody. She's not trying to just do that. She's just flirty to, like, egg you on and get you, get, get you to blush. You know what I'm saying? She loves to make people just blush because they're a little tickled or embarrassed. And I like doing that. I notice it more in me as I get older. And um, with Jay, I just love when we have that natural flirtatious manner with each other and to watch him say things and his eyes get a little coy with me and his voice drops and it's just, it's, ah, it's all so good. So I like getting playful for it with him. But I do remember, I never really realized within makeup the how much power makeup had in flirting until I started noticing at like maybe eight or nine, the difference between Disney characters like Mickey and Minnie and like Donald and Daisy. Do you guys remember these characters would be the exact same, but the one thing that set them apart were homegirl's lashes, man. When homegirl's lashes started fluttering and doing the little thing on the side, oh, it made me do my makeup a whole different way. And you know what I mean? And you know how to play with it too. Very you know, flirty. When a woman has her makeup on, she just moves differently because she knows exactly like just how to play the game that 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 just kind of brings it to life because you feel like, you just feel so much more, I don't know, feminine with it. I don't know, that's what I got when I was a kid. I knew how to flirt hey, when I was eight, guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, all right. All right, since eight, okay, well, um, people say I'm a flirt, but I am not a flirt. I don't think I am. But I like Those for are the worst man... ones! <laughs> okay. I like for a man to let me know that he's interested. And I have learned to show my vulnerable side. Being strong and independent, I've learned to be a little bit more vulnerable. I... Men like that. So, yes. Uh oh, Ooh, that I was sort of felt vulnerable. that. Damn, the like stress. stress. You, you know what, like April, that? though? I feel like, and this is totally judgment, so tell me if I'm wrong. But, uh -oh. I, oh, April! This is daytime TV. Let me tell you I'm serve. single. I'm single. Mm. Oh, girl. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> Shoulder, that's there. Lonnie's move. Careful. Let him know. Be careful. No, but I feel like in your work, in your business, and also in, in all the parts of your business, your attire, your demeanor, I feel like it's harder for you to flirt. So when you do, it's, it, it definitely makes me clutch my pearls. You know what I mean? Exactly. You don't have pearls on stop. You clutch your gold and your <laughs> ring or whatever. No. But, um, <laughs> my spiritual no, but pearls. you know what? It's right. It's at, you're actually right because, you know, people see you on CNN or, or doing your piece on the grill. You're supposed to be this this strong woman who comes with knowledge, but they forget. Conservative. Well, conservative in your approach about it. Right. But, um, but, but they don't realize that journalist is a woman who goes home and hangs with mm. her boo. You know, once a little Let cuddle time when the fireplace, once a little cuddle time when the fireplace is going. She's still a woman. Yes, yes, Adrian, yes. 
speak it. Well, as we take this break, I want you ladies to give us your best flirty face. Come on, ladies. Give me your best flirty face. Come on. I'm not going to get mine. Now, Mm -hmm. up next, everyone remembers Barack and Michelle shutting it down with their style at last month's inauguration, right? It was just beautiful. They were paired perfectly. But it seems like their look has inspired the next generation. Earlier this week, the former first lady retweeted pictures from four-year-old Riley Madison Hampton and her four-year-old friend, Zayden Lowe, showing off their presidential poses. Riley's Aunt Zoe said that the kids not only admire the Obama style, but look up to them as great role models as well. Yeah. And it looks like Michelle's admires them, Michelle admires them too, because she said that they nailed it. So ladies, what do you think of these adorable impressions? I don't think I've seen in a while any children um, um, getting their stylish influences from presidents since like JFK, you know what I mean? Like uh, that whole time has not been around for a while. Yeah, Yeah, Jackie. Yeah, but you know, they were. They were, but you know, Jeannie's right. You know, um, Jackie Kennedy, she was known for those pillbox hats and and her style. Mm. And Michelle Obama shut it down when she was first lady. And I'm going to tell you, mm-hmm. I, I saw that when I saw them come in, my heart kind of left. I said, oh, here they come. And I just kind of curved out the president and looked at that ensemble that the first lady, that then the former first lady had on and that belt. I said, the belt was everything. But to see these little babies, hashtag goals, hashtag aspirations. They're aspiring to greater. And this shows us, there was a time that minority kids, you know, we didn't think of, we, it was a dream. Oh, I want to be president one day. They see themselves as being president, first lady, yes. and vice president, yeah. not just, you know, principal, which is great not just the CEO, but to reach the highest rungs of this society. Hashtag goals, hashtag aspirations. Do that thing, babies. Do that thing. Representation matters, and I think this is what it shows. And you know what else matters? Showing different types of pictures. And ladies, I just want to quickly show this picture that was taken on the soft lawn of our current president and his first lady. Woo! Oh, my God, I love it. (laughs) I love it. We ain't seen that in a long time, have we? Right. Dang, Beautiful. That part. Get a Beautiful. role. The presidential role. A great so representation creepy. of America. Yeah. We are the so last creepy. Four years? We'd be in the bushes getting that picture. We'd be in the bushes like, <laughs> can't even give them some privacy. For sure. I love it. And I just want to say this really quick. I also think it's interesting that we had a first lady for this entire four years, Melania Trump, who loved dressing in designer and was really known for her style. But we didn't really find a lot of Americans that wanted to try to emulate her style, which goes to show for me that it's much more about the style. It's much, it's it's about the the actual impression and the influence that these people bring that make you want to emulate who they are. 